In my last video, I have made a toothpick holder and I have some uh, leftovers, so I keep it. And uh, in this video, I use one of those uh, leftovers for making some necklace that I have in order. So, let's see what we will make. At the beginning, we make around the wood. Now, we will make the chuck tenon. Now I have count my coin. Is it 240? So I put in the middle, the one nose and the other one in one. So I make the first cycle. And then we check if it fit well or not. And we see what we do with the hole. So let's begin. Our hole are ready. Now we sand it, we glue the coin, and then we cut it. Now we do some scratches with our chisel so the glue works better. I break the last one and I begin a new. I will sharpen it just with the sandpaper. First, I put the coin with the glue, and after, I put some finish. Then, we make some scratch. We put a little glue, we fit the coin. And now we will wait for a while. Our coin have stuck there with the glue. And now we treat it with a bit of bees packs. It's ready. Now is the time to cut it. I cut it. Now we'll clean the bag. And after I do here a little hole. So I put a jump ring for put it on the neck. Our necklace is already. Now I will drill it and then we'll be ready to put the jump ring and the ribbon. I don't finish it in this video, but 
I show you a photo in the beginning and the end of the video. Let's drill those. I have chose two and a half millimeter drill to make the hole for the jump ring. Our necklace is already. The only left is to put the jump rings and the cord. Our necklace is already. I hope you like this project. It's a, a very good gift that, that you can give to your friends. The lady that asked me to make them is uh, because the dates of those coins is for their grandchildren's date of birth and they give this as a gift. So think about to make something like that. It will be a very beautiful move. So for the next time that we speak, I hope you're going well. See you next Sunday and uh, I try to have for you a new project. Take care.